Hello everybody, my name is Owen Fox and I'd like to welcome you to the video. Um, I'm, I'm currently doing a water fast and I'm on approximately like the 15, no, no, maybe around 20 hour mark or something like that. Yeah, around the 20 hour mark of water fasting. And here I am in the Caribbean, so I'd like to welcome you to the Caribbean. This is in Turks and Caicos Islands, Turks and Caicos Islands. And this is the beautiful weather, it's around 4pm now or something like that. The sun is really beautiful. And I just thought I'd get the camera um, to, to just to share with you my experience of fasting so far. And to spread the message of fasting, and which is trusting, giving, giving your sense of um, taking control to God or to Source or to the infinite, infinite intelligence of your body and the universe. And by not eating or by, by taking very little stuff, um, you allow your body to cleanse and heal and repair. Usually, deep healing takes place after, some people say after day 3 of water fasting or others will say after day 10, like very deep healing. I'm just a beginner at this, I'm just a novice, although I've read books about this and I've, I've been known about it for many years. I, there's lovely bananas. I've previously done like miniature like 38 and 40 hour water fasts but my body was sick at that stage for definite and I just couldn't really cope with that anymore because your blood pressure goes down a little bit and it's harder if you have weak adrenals um, to do a water fast. So today anyway it's like a modified fast. I took the juice of one coconut and I also took um, some herbal tea for my adrenals, my kidney system which has a little bit of rice flour in it, a tiny bit of, as an excipient. To, but I have to say overall how I'm feeling is like fine, you know, I had an afternoon nap, but that's partially because I got a really bad sleep because of the mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> or a mosquito or two in the room. And I went to bed later than usual as well, by an hour and a half or so, which is very untypical of me. Usually I'm very solid, going to bed in around the same early time of around half eight to nine. Last night I went to bed probably around a quarter to ten. But that makes a difference, you know, if you're not used to it. So I had an afternoon nap. I checked my pee because peeing is one of the signs where you're able to check what, what's up in your body. Like, you know, obviously your stools, this is like since time immemorial. immemorial. You can, people check check their stools, their tongues, their face, the eyes, iridology, the urine, urine analysis, hair analysis, there's all sorts of things to give you scientific information rather than just simply how you're feeling. These are all like, these are a version of banana, they're not exactly banana actually. Yeah, the fruits over here are spectacular. And getting the sunshine on your skin, hot sun on your lovely skin is amazing. So I did feel a bit tired. It's been up and down a little bit, you know, like my energy. Not too much up or down, but overall I feel fine. And because I'm, I know my adrenals, since I first met my partner Sally three years ago, three and a half years ago, I just met her, just before I met her, I'd done two fasts. And I just had to stop them because I knew my body felt very, very exhausted. I went into ketosis, for those of you who know before the, around the 35, 30 to 35 hour mark because I was so skinny and emaciated from being sick in the past that I hadn't recovered from. Um, just my glu my glycogen reserves in my liver and my like small muscles uh, that weren't being used a lot, they ran out and usually it takes around three, hour, three days it says, they say generally for people to enter ketosis which is when you start burning fat um, as fuel. Um, Usually you're burning the glycogen stores in your, called glycogen in your liver and muscles, but I'm expecting still to go into ketosis probably overnight. So I had my last, oh there's a lovely orange butterfly. I had my last meal, like or food, should I say, nine o'clock yesterday. And so nine o'clock tomorrow morning will be the 36 hour mark, but I'm planning on going longer. 
because I just feel so good. I can feel fine, you know. I'm not even hungry. And I want to say, everybody, that, um, like, this video isn't about trying to sell or prove or show you the fasting works. I presume, like, if anybody... <laughs> There's Sally. Hey, Sally! This is, like, Sally's backyard in her mom's house, Turks and Caicos. So, um... This isn't, what I'm doing now isn't even a fast, and if anyone knows me, you definitely don't need to be concerned, of course, I, I almost feel silly saying that, because you'd want to be very ignorant, and I don't mean that as an insult, I mean that literally as like, someone would want to be very, very like uneducated and lacking information to be afraid to not eat for like a few hours or a day. <laughs> All throughout history we've gone with periodic fasting simply because of like an absence of an abundance of food. So actually modern day people are, are stuffing themselves, we're gluttons and we're mo a lot of people are overweight and a lot of the population is obese, even in Ireland where I'm usually originally from. I've just come to the Caribbean a week ago, basically to relocate to a nicer land, to a more tropical, like warmer place with superfood fruits and just like proper real stuff growing around the place. But basically just because it's our families here and she hasn't been home in a long time. But I'll be back to Ireland of course. But um, let's keep going for a little walk, will we? <laughs> the benefit, the, the detriment of over stuffing yourself is very bad for you. We shouldn't. We should be skinny, like not not skin and bones, but we should be very slim as a, as a species. And it's been shown that the longest lived, healthiest people in the world are all very slim. Bit like me, to be honest. Probably just a bit more muscularized. But I'm I have a sick body. Like, what age am I now? Thirty three. When I was twenty, I weighed. Basically around a stone and a half heavier than I, what I am now. So 13 years ago I was a stone and a half heavier and for anyone using pounds it's 14 pounds in a stone so around 21 pounds heavier when I was 13 years ago. So my body is a sick body at the moment basically speaking. I'm not trying to like label myself but it's partially injured and injured basically and I haven't recovered and that's why I'm fasting and I'm going to keep doing and I'm going to plug away between diet, herbs and fasting and sunbathing. I'm going to keep doing repetitive, uh, like 36, 48, 72 hour fast. I'm going to keep building up. And it's when you enter ketosis, when you really do start doing the healing, um, when you're still burning your energy from the glucose reserves, that's more like cleansing. But obviously you're doing some healing, but if you want to really go into the healing level, that's when you start generally feeling weak, tired, and you just want to be laying in bed. So I did a lot of laying in bed today. And I did a lot of laying in bed with my eye patch, just the less you use your eyes, the less you talk, the less you're engaged looking at stuff, all I use is energy, the, more, the less you stand and walk, the, the more you lay down, it's definitely freeing up a colossal amount of energy to really do what you do, what you're not eating for, which is to heal, so you're re reserving your energy and you're using it for this, to heal, and regenerate and cleanse. So I took some liver tea and blood building and blood cleansing herbal tea today. I took some for my adrenals and I took coconut water. But I'm excited about this. I'm looking forward to it. This is my partner's like house that she's going to have in the future. Uh, probably, most likely when we, when we get it finished. And who knows, I may even be there too. There's a yucca, tr a yucca tree where you get yucca roots. The long brown ones that you see sometimes in the Asian or Indian shops. Pretty awesome. There's loads of cool like fruits over here, by the way, and plants that my, her mum is growing. So I just want to actually encourage people: know the power of the universe is inside of you. Um, I don't mean that to be particularly sp spiritual or like weird sounding, but all animals in nature, when they're sick or injured, or poisoned, sick, injured, whatever, hurting. If they have an injury, they fast. They might nibble on a leaf or two that's like medicinal, like the way I did today, I took some herbs. Or they might just purely go on water or even like hardly any water, which is like dry fasting, which is more powerful and more tougher on your body if you're not well. This is healing, natural healing, God's given natural healing. So like for 13 years, for many years after I got injured, I didn't just know, didn't have a clue what happened or what to do. I was lost and I was very, very unwell. 
then around five years ago, I or five and a half, I started taking herbs that, for my adrenals. They helps so much. And between now and then, the past, around since I met Sally, around five years ago, around three years ago, I started taking more, more like properly, conscientiously, knowing that they're very good. So in the last three years, I've been seriously building my body up with uh, the power of herbs, very supporting my kidney system, as the Chinese would say, and taking started my herb company as you know you can check it below higherselfherbs.com you can check out my flagship products loads of cool formulas and stuff have a look at the website but taking the strength formula is very good for like energy and like just gaining muscle as chi herbs a strike like i won't get into that it doesn't matter just have a look below if you're interested so in this video i also want to say that like when we go to the extreme and an exit balance the more we go out of balance and into the extreme the more it will cause harm and destruction into our body and in our lives, the more we'll go into disharmony. So, my motto years ago was actually be extreme. Like when I was 20, I'd, I, I, had a, I had a whole series of destructive beliefs and unhealthy, incorrect beliefs. Like exercise makes you stronger, mind over matter, no pain, no gain, be extreme, crazy stuff. Totally ignored my body. I punished it into the ground for around a year and a half, two years. I used to be so strong and I feel a bit sad thinking about the way I used to be compared to the way I am now but it was part of my journey and I honour and respect that and I've, I've had peace about it a long time ago. But now that I'm coming closer, I'm a bit to gaining health, real health, my proper original body back again. <laughs> I'm a little bit more impatient, I, like I have this passion now, this drive to get there again, to go running and do things that I used to be able to do. So fasting is the one thing I haven't tried in the last I haven't really tried it properly except for those two little ones before I met my partner Sally. Fasting is the powerful, the most powerful thing you could do. But I'd say fasting and herbs, like fasting and herbs are the two most powerful things you could do. Herbs are the most powerful thing you can intake generally. Maybe sun gazing too is like super powerful guys, but you have to do it in the first half of the day and the last half of the first half an hour of the day, sorry, and the last half an hour of the day when the sun is like extremely weak and you can look at it. And you have to learn about that, guys. You can't just do it. Just take responsibility and be careful and educate yourself about sun gazing if you're interested in trying. That's very powerful and healing too. But I uh, highly recommend herbs and I highly recommend fasting. And like fasting will help everything, anything. And another thing you can do is juice feasting or just simply eating fruits and green leafy vegetables. But that's not as healing at all as fasting, not in the slightest bit. It doesn't come, come close like... Obviously, it's an epic. People have cured themselves of so many ailments and issues and diseases from simply eating a raw vegan diet of fruits and green leafy vegetables. Fasting will heal proper. It's just it's just re re um, re undoing like re correcting um, problems and effect, bad effects that happened in your body from going out of balance from nature and going out of balance from balance itself. So, uh, sorry if the breeze has been breezy in this video, it probably has, and <laughs> I'll go over here or something like that, just trying to escape from the wind. So, I'm going to go in now in a minute, but I hope this video is helpful, and I'll keep you updated, I suppose, if I feel up to it. If you have questions or comments, que uh, post them below, and more importantly than questions, are, like, just do Google searches. You'll find a lot of information on Google. Just gonna go over here, get a bit of a wind shelter. So this is the yucca and the root is down there. I took a bit yesterday, I had or the other day, I had some soup, a bit of yucca. So everyone is gonna say our life, we have to take responsibility for our life and we have to find options. And I was doing some prayer today because prayer and fasting together are powerful. Um, I just want you to get know how to get healthy again and and it's the raw vegan diet generally is the way to go powerfully. Now, it's not the only way but it's a powerful way. For herbs, highly suggest looking my web store or at least just looking down in my description box below. Higher Self Herbs, I love the name, it's an inspired herbs shop, it just came out of the blue, no planning. And the third thing is like juice feasting and fortress water fasting. 
I also took some systemic enzymes, which I am out of stock with a few of them um, on my herb shop, but I took some um, systemic enzymes, which greatly assist repair and cleansing um, and helps healing of the body too. So I used to be a powerhouse of strength energy. I used to be a loaded spring. I used to be like a spring buck. And I like talking about this because like, I was so powerful, so fit, so one arm press was easy in my sleep. So so easy doing one arm press ups and one legged squats. I could run all day. I want to be like that again, and that's why I'm fasting because I want to repair and rejuvenate what the, some of the damage that was done. And I just have to, you know, I have to undo the cause and effect, un, un the grind the wheels grinding forward. I have to un grind them backwards now to try and get the results that I want. So I hope all of you, anyone watching here now today, I hope you're well. And I wish you wellness and I hope this video has helped you to at least a bit of information, a bit of inspiration, just to get well and maybe try some new things. Like any any and everything of the modern diseases can be seriously cured. Like un, undone the cause and effects from, from what it is to cause it in the first place, which is generally your diet and gone out of balance. Like but that is part of the diet that people eat. It's really unnatural out of the natural balance of the natural diet and then out of balance of quantities and natural substances this is silly <laughs> so it's a good journey of the soul and I wish you all good luck um, stay well and stay healthy okay it's bye now and if, if you're new subscribe and do do like if you like this video and also share like comment etc 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 befriend me on Facebook also I'm there okay bye I also hope you liked uh, seeing some of the tropics in Sally's back garden. <laughs> See ya.